This is the fourth and final video in our series on learning to use the daily office in the Book of Common Prayer. In previous videos, I've given you instructions for how to use morning and evening prayer, where to find the scripture readings, and how the seasons of the church year can influence our prayers. These services of morning and evening prayer are the anchors of the daily office, and they are rich expressions of worship in our daily life. But there are two more services that we can add to make for a full routine of prayer throughout the day. Or we might substitute them to work with our individual schedules. Noonday prayer begins on page 103. For this service, you won't need to use the lectionary because instead there are just a handful of psalms and readings to choose from. It works like this. Begin with an opening acclamation. Choose from one of three psalms appropriate for noonday. Choose one from three short scriptures of reading. Have a moment of silence or meditation. Say the Lord's Prayer. Pray one of the collects. Offer your intercessions and conclude. Noonday prayer takes just five to 10 minutes. Compline is similar. Compline is the set of prayers designed for the end of the day, usually just before you go to bed. It begins on page 127. Again, you won't need the lectionary, nor will there be too many complicated choices to make. It begins with an opening acclamation and a confession. You can then choose a psalm from a selection of four that are appropriate to this time of day. There are four choices of brief scripture readings followed then by prayers. The prayers here include a versicle and response, a very brief call and response litany, and then the Lord's Prayer, and then some collects or prayers to choose from. Compline concludes with the beautiful Song of Simeon from Luke's Gospel. For many people like me, Compline is the favorite among the services of the daily office. Note that in noonday prayer and in Compline, it is traditional to leave off the doxological ending that is usually added to the Lord's Prayer. On these occasions, we conclude the prayer just as Jesus ended it, with, Deliver us from evil. Now you know the full set of prayers in the daily office. Morning prayer, noonday prayer, evening prayer, and Compline. If it suits you to pray all four every day, that's great. If one or two of these works best for you, then that's what you should do. Prayer is a transformative tool in our lives, and I encourage you to find wherever it is that you can start and see where it leads you. Now, if all of this still seems intimidating, there is yet another option. Turn to page 136 in your Book of Common Prayer, and you'll find daily devotions for individuals and families. These very brief services follow the basic form of the daily office, but in an even simpler structure. There's a form for morning, noon, evening, and night, and five minutes will be all you need for these devotionals. In the midst of a busy day and between all the comings and goings of the members of a family, these are perfect little services to take a break and ground yourself in the love of God. I hope these four instructional videos have helped you to learn and understand the practice of the daily office and given you the tools that you need to build a regular pattern of prayer into your life. As I said on the first video, there are also many other good, wonderful, life-giving ways to pray. But generations of Christians have found the daily office to be a valuable practice, and I commend it to you. Now feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all, and may God bless you on your journey.